morning for the second time. Uh, those of you who might be joining me for the first time. This is Jonathan Dunning here. Um, I'm in my office in Sheffield. Unfortunately, unable to uh, get to the church this morning. We were having a time of prayer on the precinct outside our building today for the community and for the people who live on the Baitmore John Thorpe estate and obviously for our world around the COVID virus situation. Um, we were going to do a short 15 minute service, but I'm um, now self isolating because uh, my wife Karen has gone down with some of the symptoms. So, unfortunately, I'm here now live on my own in my little shed. Um, but we're just going to sing a couple of songs. We're going to read some scripture and then we're going to pray. It'll be about 15 minutes. Glad you can join us and uh, the Lord bless you. Uh, if you know the songs, please join in. Um, Everyone needs compassion. Love that's never free. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. The hope of nations. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save, he is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. So take me as you find me. All my fears and failures fill my life again. And I give my life to follow everything I believe in. Now I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save, he is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light, let the whole world sing. Singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light, let the whole world sing. Singing for the glory of the risen King. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Reading from Psalm 40, which is a Psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. And he turned to me and he heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. And he set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He's given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed and they will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. O oh Lord, my God, you've performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list, and you have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to an end of them. You take no delight in sacrifice or offerings. Now that you've made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. Then I said, look, I've come. As is written about me in the scriptures, I take joy 
in doing your will, O my God. For your instructions are written on my heart. I've told all your people about your justice. I've not been afraid to speak out, as you, O Lord, well know. I've not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I've talked about your faithfulness and your saving power. I've told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs on my head and I've lost all courage. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame. For well, they said, ah, we've got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, the Lord is great. As for me, since I'm poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my saviour. My, oh, my God, do not delay. Unfortunately, I've been having to self-isolate because my wife is poorly at the moment, but she's one of many people who are poorly. I had a message from a friend of mine, Barry Manson, about uh, a, a Christian man from the city of Sheffield called Terry Manship, who is seriously ill with COVID at this moment. And we need to pray for him. But there's many others who we can pray for this morning as we as we come to God in prayer. So in this time of uncertainty and fear, when many people don't know what to do or where to go, can I just encourage you just to join me in prayer for, for a few minutes. I'm going to finish with the Lord's Prayer, one more song and then the grace after that. Heavenly Father, we come to you for help. In the midst of all the troubles that we face, and there are many of them, we need you. We don't know where to turn to. And for many of us, um, we are struggling to understand how to get through the problems that we face. We pray in all the fear and anxiety and uncertainty that you would come and rescue us, as David said in that psalm. Lord, that you would be our peace. You would be our strength. You would be our hope and our comfort. For who can we turn to? in our anxiety and our trouble, except you. You say, cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. Caring Heavenly Father, we pray that we would know the truth of that in our lives at this time. Your peace, your help, and the security that comes from knowing you. We wanna pray for all those who are self-isolating today. People who are on their own, perhaps, who have no one else to turn to. Lord, please, in your mercy and your grace, will you watch over them. For those, in particular, on our estate of Baitmo Jordan Thorpe, one of the poorer areas of Sheffield, Lord, please, Lord. Many people don't understand how to get through this. Will you reach out and be there for them and help us as a church to do the right thing in the right way? We pray for those who are suffering from this virus at the moment. In particular, we bring Terry before you. Healing God, we ask you to pour out your healing and your strength into all who need you at this time. We pray for our NHS staff, for doctors, for nurses, for support staff. Lord, please have mercy. Help them, strengthen them, keep them safe in the midst of this storm. Pray for those working in the shops and pray for us, Lord, that we would show grace and generosity as opposed to hoarding things for ourselves at this time. Help us as a society to do the right things in the right way, we pray. For all those who are worried about the future, about health, about money, about work, about their families. Lord, we say a prayer now. We name people before you in the silence. Please, Lord, draw close to those who we have mentioned before you right now in Jesus' name. We pray for the church, Lord. Pray for our mission. 
We thank you that you're still good news in a world of bad news. And we pray that we would bring your good news to those who need to hear it today in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for an end to this virus. Teach us through it, Lord. We pray that we would receive your, the lessons that we need to learn through this. Maybe the new ways that we need to be church, the new ways that we need to actually follow you through this. Please help us, we pray. Great God. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Perhaps you join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to sing another song, and then we'll say the grace. Thank you for joining me this morning. Pray God's blessing upon you and your families, and your loved ones at this time. Keep close to Jesus. Keep close to Jesus throughout the whole situation. He called me out upon the waters, great and known, where feet may fail. There I find in you the mystery. In oceans deep, my faith will stand, and I will call upon your name. Keep my eyes above the waves, when oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, you are mine. abounds in deepest waters your sovereign hand will be my guide my feet may fail and fear surrounds me you never failed you won't start now and I will call upon your name Keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise My soul will rest in your embrace For I am yours You are mine Thank you, Jesus Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. And take me deeper than my feet would ever wander. My faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you may call me. Take me deeper than my feet would ever wander. My faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. And I will call upon your name. Keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours. You are mine. Amen. Thank you for joining me. Next week, I don't know what we'll be doing, but we will keep 
um, making some live broadcasts of some sort. I'll keep you informed through my Facebook page. Um, as a church, please pray for us. We're doing our best to reach out to the local community. It's very difficult when we have to uh, you know, face the government situation and do the right thing, obviously, by the society and, and, and by the government too. But we still need to be good news. For each of us watching, we need to be good news to our neighbours. We can pray. We can give. We can help people. Um, stay safe. Keep the faith. And God bless you. Shall we say the grace together as we close? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.